what we'll be doing is finally adding the background stars and the spaceship to the game scene so that we can actually start making the game now that we're finished getting all the menu items set up. So last time we were here, we finished off with our splash scene, our title scene, our menu scene, and when you click on the button, it now brings you just to the blank game scene. So today what we're going to do is we're going to add a star background and finally our spaceship to the game scene. So we're just going to be focusing on game scene today. And we're going to follow through with exactly the same kind of process that we've done before for adding in items to our screen. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a variable for the background. So I'm just going to call it background. And I'm going to put that right in here like we have done before. So this dot background and we're going to assign it null like we have in the past. Once we have our variable assigned in the constructor or declared, then in the preload, we're actually going to load the artwork for it. So that's nothing new. We've done that before. And I just put a comment saying that this is the images because later on we're going to be loading sound files as well. So just so that we can separate them out. And there should be an image called a star background. And all it is is just a bunch of stars, which we're going to put in our game scene because it's a spaceship. Once we have the background loaded, then in create, we need to um, show it to the user. And we're going to place it in the center of the screen like we have in the past as well. So we just take our variable background and we're adding an image. It's the star background. We're placing it um, in the top left-hand corner. We've seen set scale before, so we're just doubling the size so that it actually takes up all of our screen. And we're setting the origin to the top left hand as well. So that should be enough just to make our background show up. So let's run that and we go through again. We have our splash scene, our title scene, our menu scene pops up and there's our star background. So that's working. Now what we want to do is put a sprite in for our spaceship. So we're going to go back to the beginning piece at the top in our constructor. And we're going to declare a variable it's going to be our spaceship. We then need to go and load the assets in preload, just like we did for the background or for the menu button. And the item we're going to be using is this thing called spaceship, which is this one right here. And that's going to be the spaceship that we're going to be using. And then we need to put it on the screen so we can see it. This is going to be slightly different than usual because we're going to add in a module or a property called physics um, because we're actually going to be moving the spaceship around. So it's going to be slightly different than what we're used to from before. So we take our spaceship and we're going to assign it this dot physics dot add sprite. And that's going to add a lot of benefits when we go to do collision detection. Um, we can ask physics to tell us when a spaceship is touching an alien or whether a laser beam is touching an alien and things like that. So that's going to help us out later on. At the moment, um, 
it's not going to be that useful, but it will eventually. And we're just going to take it and stick it in the middle on the X and at the very bottom on the Y, but up 100 so that it's just up slightly from the bottom of our screen and it's the spaceship that we're going to be using. So if we run that again, we should see our spaceship show up. So splash scene, title scene, menu scene, and now when we click run, you will see here we have our spaceship. And you'll notice that there is this sort of purple little box around that. So that is the collision box. Anything inside that that is touching it, we can get information um, with the physics engine about that. So that's going to be useful. In our final game, we're going to get rid of that. If you go over to our game.js file, and remember when we added this debugging set to true, if you set that to false and run the program again, you'll notice that that purple thing around our spaceship will be gone. So when we finally deploy our game, that's what we'll do. But for now, we're gonna leave that alone and we're going to put it back and that's gonna help us out um, to figure out when missiles are going through our spaceship and such. So that's how we got our spaceship finally showing up. In the next tutorial, we'll actually be moving using the keyboard um, our spaceship left and right.